Key West. For decades, the island paradise has attracted folks from all walks of life, becoming home to a former president, as well as artists and entertainers, from Ernest Hemingway and Tennessee Williams to Jimmy Buffett. It's also long been a playground for pirates, bootleggers, and drug smugglers. And now, as seen as Charles Jaco reports, there's a move afoot to gentrify it. Key West, where America stops 90 miles from Havana. This place has been home to pirates and poets and singers and saloons. One saloon keeper who says he drank with Hemingway and bootleggers is now the mayor. Forty years ago, it was like the Barbary Coast. Drip joints on every corner, uh, slot machines, crap tables. The island seems determined, though, to get rid of its roguish image and push for a more upscale tourist. Anti-noise ordinances have been passed. There's a division between the business people in town as well as some of the locals as to whether or not uh, we're trying to gentrify Key West, if you will. Street vendors have been pushed off downtown's Duval Street. They're sterilizing it and making it a, a homogenized uh, atmosphere. Expensive new homes and condos are going up on what used to be the grounds of Harry Truman's summer White House. Can't hardly see the ocean around here with all the condominiums. For years, each sunset has been celebrated on Mallory Dock. The city backed off a plan to raise the total rent on the dock for artists and vendors to $4,000 a month, but bad feelings remain. The city commission is trying to scrub this town so clean it won't have any flavor left. The Battle of Mallory Dock pits funky Key West against those who say upscale development will pay the bills. If it's upscale that brings more dollars on a per-person basis, then really upscale is the most economical and most sensible way to go. But others are worried about those economics. Key West is the most expensive place to live in all of Florida. Even the tiniest house here costs over $100,000. And people who live here fear that more upscale development could drive prices even higher. But Key Westers are a contrary lot. They even seceded from the mainland in 1982, complete with their own flag. Some say Key West will not gentrify quietly. Key West is not going to change. There's no possible way you can dress up this lady in beautiful clothes with the history she has. Charles Jaco, CNN, Key West, Florida.